Yeah, actually, I mean, people can have out of body experiences if they want. I mean, first of all, you can there, you can make yourself faint. You know, it's the old party trick: squat down, hyperventilate, stand up quickly, and Valsalva. Um, in fact, that's one of the things that kind of got me interested. And I did that as a youth and had an ESP experience. I thought, wow, that's strange. And so it sort of got me going. The other is that you can develop a technique called lucid dreaming. Um, and in REM sleep, um, you turn off the dorsolateral prefrontal area of your brain. And that's where most of our executive function takes place. And if you don't turn that off, then it looks like we can have lucid dreaming, where you're, you have insight that you are actually in a dream. Normally, we lose that insight as part of the, the, the usual aspect uh, of sleep. But you can train yourself to have lucid um, dreams. And during lucid dreams are often um, out-of-body experiences because you're simultaneously turning off the temporal parietal area. Time okay. for, uh, can, can yeah, I what, just, yeah. just mm -hmm. quick answers to that? Um, thank you very much for that comment. And the way that you introduced it, I think, was absolutely correct. Uh, rather than looking at these things entirely through the perspective of near-death experiences, perhaps we can look at other methods which can change consciousness. Well, of course, what you've got is the near-death suggesting a model, and if we can model this in other different ways so that we can get the same phenomena, then it'd be an excellent thing to do. But I can also suggest to you that you probably won't get much funding for that at the <laughs> moment either. Um, but, uh, uh, Kevin's uh, lucid dreaming, I've done a lot of work on lucid dreaming and in fact one of the first papers I published was on lucid dreamers and um, I just don't find his phenomena. Uh, the sorts of things that Kevin talks about certainly weren't in, in my group of lucid dreamers. Uh, we were doing simple experiments like for example if you held up a finger, is it a real finger or not a real finger, in the dream. Well, in fact, in lucid dreams, you can actually check that. So what you can do, do it with your friends when you go out, is lift, lift up your finger and then scan, hold your head steady and scan it with your eyes. And you'll see, those of you who are close enough, is that my eye is following it. Now I'm going to hold up an imaginary finger and try and scan it. And I can't do it. <laughs> it makes jumps. Now, do lucid dreamers, because they can move their eyes in that dream. It's because you're do, using saccades and, and smooth pursuit, using two different oculum um, systems. Uh, systems. That's absolutely right. And the point is that the lucid dreamers use the whole Monty and not the imaginary one. So lucid dreaming is, is a, a quite different state, but it doesn't produce what Kevin said.